welcome back in this session we're going to be going over the feature manager design tree so as you saw in the user interface we described this area as our feature manager design tree and it's very important that we go through this before we start creating any sketches or anything so you would know what all these are before we start using them because you will be using this tree a lot during your exercise okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing over here next to this cube little thing uh, which looks like a tetris cube is the name of your part so the name of your part is user interface you will also find this right on top over here okay so that's the name of your part the second thing that you're going to see is your history folder now the reason why this is called a design tree is because it looks like a design tree so from this part comes the history you open up the history it comes all the features that you've created uh, you've used to create this part then you're able to open that up so as you can see this looks like a tree with a whole bunch of branches so that's why it's called the design tree okay so i'm going to close this back up again now the history folder contains every, all the changes that you've done to your part so it doesn't mean that you what you created first but the last change that you've done to any feature so for example i've created this sketch one first and then i've created a solid boss but it wasn't it did not name it a solid boss so i went later and renamed my feature solid boss right here so that's why that changes uh, put up here but really i created a sketch one then the solid boss sketch two then my cut hole and then the chamfer okay and that's what you'll see down here but i'll go over that in a little bit okay so those are just the history just for your information to see what you've done to the part so i'm going to close the history button right here so remember that plus expands your folders and clicking that minus again will uh, close them back up again now there's three things right here sensors annotations and material i don't want you to worry about those right now in the beginners exercise we will be going over these in our advanced uh, session of solidworks okay so sensor annotations and material leave those be you will not be using using them for the uh, beginners aspect of solidworks okay next thing and those are the very most important things you will use a lot in uh, SOLIDWORKS is your planes okay now I renamed one of them front but basically I'm gonna start out right here there you have a front plane top plane and right plane that SOLIDWORKS allows you to start with defaults th those three default planes to begin with okay so to begin with I'm gonna click on my front plane and you're gonna see four options there's a normal to normal to just makes you view allows you to view the plane um, uh, that is normal to the view so if I click on that you'll see that my view switches to the uh, normal to the front plane that you'll see the name of the plane on the top left over here if I zoom out you're actually able to uh, click on any of these dots over here and expand or retract that plane that does not change the location you can actually make it as small as you want but it's uh, very good to just keep it around the same size of your part, a little bit bigger than your part, so you know where that front plane is, okay? Now, if you have a plane highlighted and you click again, it's going to give you the option to rename that plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that plane front plane, okay? And then as soon as I hit enter, notice over here it will change the name of the plane. So I'm going to hit enter, and you're going to see front plane change over here, okay? So... Uh, you can right click on each plane too to get these options again and get more options over here now we will not worry about these uh, right now we will be using them and learning more features as we go on in this tutorial so again there's the third option is a show show allows you to sh uh, allow SOLIDWORKS to show the planes in your graphical area uh, for example if I click away your plane just disappeared I'm gonna go over here and put it into my isometric view and then I'm going to come over here to the front, click on show, go to the top plane, click on show, and then go to the right plane, and then click on show. And you're going to see now, if I click in the graphical area and rotate it, your planes are viewable. You can see your planes. This is your front view, this is your right plane, and this is your top plane right here. Okay? So uh, let's go back, and you will see that there's an icon right now that shows the solid yellow with a green center, um, center line in the middle. Uh, that just means that your plane is showing. So if you want to unshow it, just go back and click on hide, click on it, left click on the plane and then click on hide. Again, left click on the right plane and then click on hide. Okay, and the last option that allows you, SOLIDWORKS allows you to do is if you click on one of the planes, it allows you to start a sketch. So if you click on sketch, you will see the symbol come up on top over here, which means just you're done with a sketch. You can exit the sketch after you're done or an X over here to cancel the sketch. 
Now, whenever you do this, make sure that you are normal to this plane when you start the sketch. Because if you start drawing lines and creating things over here, they're only going to appear in that plane. You have to remember that. So, a, a, a good option to do is come over here and then come and click on Normal 2. And that will give you a Normal 2 the front plane. Or you can come over here to the front plane as well and click on Normal 2 and it will do the same thing. Now I'm not going to create a sketch so I'm going to come over here and make sure I exit that. This just means that you're done with the sketch, you're done editing the sketch and it will just exit keeping the sketch there and this will just cancel everything that you've done. So click on the X over here, it will say discard changes to the sketch and you're going to say discard changes and exit. This way it will not save anything that you've done even though I really haven't created anything. All right, so this is the origin point. This is just allows you to show, uh, sh shows you where the origin point is. You can actually hide the origin point. Uh, you can zoom to selection or normal to that uh, origin point. Uh, it's very important to know where the origin point is because usually when we start doing the sketch, I'm going to teach you uh, how to start the sketch from your origin point to make sure your part is fully defined. It helps you keep your part design fully defined and I'll show you what that means a little, little later. So next up is your features and what you've created. So basically when SOLIDWORKS starts up, it's going to show, I'm going to take this line right here, I'm going to uh, move it all the way up. So there's a line right here, if you go over it, this hand shows up like it's picking it up. If you left click on the line and move it around, uh, move it around, uh, you can only move it all the way up to where you started. Okay, so what that allows, that basically takes away all the features and everything that you've done. It makes them, it, uh, it, 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 it trunks some, it uh, makes them disappear like you've never done them before, but you've actually uh, did create those uh, features. So it just makes them disappear, it suppresses them. So I'm going to take this line and move it down one notch. Okay, this is going to show, I'm going to put this in isometric view so you can see it better. It's going to show that I've created this first. I've created a sketch, which was a block, and then I've created a boss from it. Okay, so uh, a very important thing to remember that all features have to have a sketch. You can't create any feature over here without creating a sketch. Or you can create only a few things, a few things will be highlighted. So right now, I can actually uh, create any uh, feature I want because I have something created. But usually, uh, at the beginning, before you start anything, you need to create some kind of sketch so you can create a boss from there. Now from there you can create features, but you need to have a sketch to begin with. That's what this is. So if I actually open this up, open uh, this feature up, the solid boss, you're going to see a sketch. Now this is, this is the sketch that I first started out with. You're going to see that it's, uh, it's uh, this big square in the back. So I've created this sketch and then I've told it, hey, make this um, a solid block for me and extended uh, the amount that we asked SolidWorks to extend this. And I'll, go, I'll be going through this. Um, a little bit later on how to create all that in detail. Right now, I just wanted to show you uh, what, what this line really does. So th that's the first step that we've done is created this boss. So if I take this line and move it down again to the cut hole, it's going to show that the next thing that we've done is we cut a hole through the block. Okay, and then if I take this line again and move it down again, it's going to show that I've done um, these chamfers last. Okay, so uh, if you want, you can actually take a feature and move it around as well. So if you take this feature, you can left click and then hold it. And as you can see, it will show you, it will highlight the feature that you want it after. So what if I want this chamfer after my solid boss? I can take this and I can move it around. So right now, if I actually move this line all the way up here, it's going to show that I created my block first, right? Well, then I can take this line and move it down here. And now the chamfers are what I've done next. And then lastly, you can move it to the cut hole and then it shows that I did my uh, hole uh, cut through uh, last, okay? So you don't have to follow these features. Uh, if, you, if you created a feature and you wanted to flip flops features around, you're able to. Now, you can't do this in every single um, feature that you've created. For example, sometimes you may uh, have to cut a this chamfer and then put a radius on these ends. Well, you can't uh, flip-flop those two because you need to cut this chamfer be before you put a radius on uh, on um, these edges right here, this one and this one. So that, that's an example where when you try to flip them around, it will not let you, it will not allow you to flip those around because it will, you would need to create this chamfer before you create the radiuses here and it will give you an error, okay? 
So there you go. Uh, I'll take this over here again and I'm going to move it down to pass the cut hole. So I'll put my chamfer back to the last thing that I've created. And this will conclude uh, my lesson. So right now you've learned how to navigate through the feature manager design tree. In our next session, we'll be set and ready to uh, start learning more about these sketches.